Hello YouTube friends, welcome to the Red Parrot channel. I'm your host, Mary Ellen. This is the wrap-up episode of Junk Journal Round Robin, which was the April Swap and Daily Ephemera Making Collaboration with uh, Shell at Shell's Creative Chaos, me at Red Parrot, and Cindy at Studio Lou. Welcome to anybody who has just joined. Um, welcome. What is it? Uh, uh, there is a creator whose name, of course, I forget. She always says, welcome and welcome back. Um, uh, notes. So, notes. First thing, notes. Uh, I am going to be writing down. Uh, I learned a lot making things, and I also learned a lot from both Cindy and Shell around um, ephemera making. I need to write it down. Uh, brain injury, long story, memory problems, need to write it down. Not to worry, not to worry, not to worry. So let us do the flip through, which is what we want to do. Ooh, this is still shedding. So you will note uh, this is uh, nice and clean. And I also have a new blade in my knife. So uh, here she is. Here is Le Book. Uh, Le Book is, um, what did Cindy call it? A tome. It is my Robin tome. It is a whack and great thing. And I do love it so. It is, you know, you make things that are just like super yummy. This is super yummy. So we are going to go through it and see what we have wrought. There's only one thing that didn't make it into here, and that is this make from one of the days. Um, it is a, a pocket, and it's because it's 3D. But if I make, I might make something else for this to go in, because I think this is still, oh, I should say, I was going to say it's going to be unstable. Might not be unstable. But this actually goes with the set. So that was one of the things that I made. Um, okay, so let's get her open here. This started out as a... Oh, oh, before April, I had so many sweet ideas. I had the idea that I was going to make just a simple tag every day. Because that's one of the things that Cindy did uh, once in a sort of a month long making challenge and I had an idea that that was what I was going to do and almost immediately abandoned it and made complicated things every single day. So um, I had to take the book apart and make it into an accordion book to be able to because I knew that it's going to need um, just space to be able to hold all the stuff and un unwrapped or unbound it's about six and a half inches it's a tome <laughs> okay so uh, first pocket we've got the sheet which we need to have and this flip through is going to take as long as it takes so this is kind of in day order, though there's some that are missed. Um, this was the first one. And one of the first things that I want to note is, uh, and it goes in both categories. So envelopes are amazing. And use envelopes. Envelopes. So I, uh, Shell, in her packaging of the pieces of ephemera, she used uh, a, like a, almost a standard envelope every single day. And that envelope became an important part of almost, it's one of the reasons I think why, I, why this became um, I made sort of little mini journals every day or booklets every day. I'm just going to do that so that it doesn't completely tip over. Um, why is this here? 
Where does this go? Oh, that's where that goes. Um, another thing that was super helpful is um, I am a Patreon of Cindy and her every month she publishes a journal with me kit. So the journal with me kit I used for uh, all of the things, for background paper, for um, decoration, for um, focal points. And then, so this, curious to learn more. Oh, okay, that's a star. Mm, super don't like it when it's hard work to put something in and out. There we are. Uh, corner stamps are so much fun. Um, what's this one? Okay, this is sort of where I didn't really know what I was doing, huh. uh, like I ever do. But here's where I sort of went, oh yeah, I'm going to start to be a little bit more complicated with what I am doing. So there's a little booklet here. There's a tag here, and that's a, like a, a gentle backing that you could write on. So that's fun. Travelers must be content. Um, does that flip over? It does flip over. Okay, so let's see. Oh yeah, okay. So this comes out. Oops, don't want to interface. That's probably the first one. So day three is when I sort of went, oh, yeah, okay. Okay, okay, okay. This is day four. <gasps> yeah, I remember this card. This is a beautiful card. It's uh, like a 1920s art deco slash made into a tarot card. It's really kind of great. Um, these, oh, and here's another one. Oh, wow. Oh, I did pockets. This is pockets galore. And then another one here. So one of the things that Shell did, she did color coordinating. Oh, co-coordinating of paper. And she sent multiples. And I think one of that was she provided choice, which I think is fun. Is this a, nope, that's just a, a thing. So that's a four pocket trifold. Now that I've taken it apart. Ooh, this one's not happy. I should probably fix that. Well, we'll fix it later. Um, what's this one? Oh, okay. So this is another. Okay, yes. So this was a uh, shell with a whole sheet of things. And there were six. And so I did stacking pockets. And uh, this used to be white. So uh, one of the things that Cindy did with great regularity and to great effect was she changed change the color. Um, she created backgrounds, she uh, grunged things up, she did all kinds of things. Studying for the stage and a fine figure. So uh, the other thing that I did was I used a lot of Nancy Drew. 
I call her the, oh, these ones don't want to stick. May want to stick. Okay, so here's another one. Oh yeah. Okay, so this is another foldy over. And card number one. It's got a little bit old doodly do. That one's got a little doodly do. Oh yeah, so it's um it came with a tag, but I undid the tag. So there we are. I almost need to tape these, I think, maybe. Um, and I think we can flip that back and forth for a while. Um, next, what's this one? Oh yeah, okay, so this is clearly another envelope. Nancy Smith Drew. Come on, you can, you can do it! I think one of the things that we also did a lot of is that we, um, how do I say this? We didn't use the thing as it was if we wanted something different. So um, this was part of a piece of paper, but I wanted a piece of washi tape. Um, this was an envelope that could be a backing and I made it into packages. Uh, so we modified, modified, cut up, uh, trimmed, used differently the material. So if something was, oh, you ought to do use it for this, uh, quite often we were like, yeah, no, I wanna do something different. Let's, that'll be something different too. Okay. Oh, everybody is so kind to me. Oh, this is a page. Oh, does this flip out? It does. Okay. <clears throat> so we had <coughs> happy flippies. Very happy flippies. I'll get that one. Uh, I say that for, for every single one. Oh, I like that one. I like that one. I like them all. Okay. I think also in the making lessons, even though I had have a plan to make a tag for the month. And then feel free to change that plan. I always opened everything with the idea that if it all went horribly wrong, I could still just make a tag and it would be fine. Uh, and I, I think I might've made a couple. What are these, are these flippies? Yes, this is absolutely a, a flippy. But I like that as a, as a wrap. Got wabbits. No, anyone, Bueller? Come on, you can do it, you can do it. Okay, maybe not, all right. Move, moving on, okay, so now we need the back side supported. Uh, this one. Oh, yeah, this one is a uh, come apart. That was fun. Inktober. Shell is such a lovely, interesting artist. Her doodles are quite good. 
I like them a lot. Uh, another thing that Cindy did, oops, it doesn't go there, it goes there, sorry, that Cindy did was she found objects, curious objects. Like, um, what do we call it, mulberry? Okay. This one, what's this one? Oh yeah, so uh, another thing that I did was if I didn't use a piece of something, does this come apart? No, it doesn't go that way. All right. Okay, so let's start this one again. You open it up. So this comes from day one. So I kept a little stash of the stuff that I hadn't used. That's a journaling spot. That can open there. That's a pocket. Come on. Here we are. That opens, that opens, oh yeah. And then that was a fun little mystery calculator with a false bottom. And this should, oh, this flips up, more about drilling space. I'd say the chicks seem to think they can teach the old birds to fly. And then stuff on the back. There. Uh, next one over. Oh, so this is two of something. So I made two. Little journals. That one also comes out. I think also there is no need to worry. There's, I think there is less need to worry about pristine paper. So for example, this doesn't bother me. You can still write on it and it'd be clear and it has visual interest. And then these are the little, um, what do we call those? Tassels. So this was bag, um, like a plastic bag. So there is, um, uh, what do I want to say? Non-paper, paper-like substance. Um... There's a plastic flower bag. And what was the other thing that Cindy did? Uh, um, Cindy did a thing. What did she do? Oh, yes. Yeah. So we, Shell and I, a Shell created it. Um, there was like a silver foil material that Cindy called um, a burrito wrap. It's not exactly paper, but it's not not paper either. Um, full bins, use the bits, don't worry about perfect. About having a totally blank paper. Okay. Uh, how are you? Oh yes, I like that one. That was a very fun one. That's uh, that's from Shell, and it's a little bit of uh, a French soap, 
Oh, look at me. Tags. Wow, of course, I made about 100 of them. Oh, yes, and that was the stickers. That was sticker day. Better three hours too soon than a minute too late. So um, this was the day that I actually changed the color. And so this was a watercolor pencil. And a damp. I think I used a paper towel. Actually, a corner of it. And I just wanted to create color. Once again, copying what I saw Cindy do uh, using different materials. But the crayons worked really, really well on this one. And I think this is the first place where I started to use some ink was fun. Okay. Okay, so we're getting near the this is gonna tip over. Um nope. Sorry, didn't need to bang yet. Okay. This one, always well dressed. I like those buddies. Um, this is Citrus Elf, and so this is. Ooh, oh, I did a, I did a flip. I did a pocket with a tag. It says you are amazing. And if anybody hasn't told you today, you were amazing. You were amazing. little bit. Wait a minute. That's also a pocket, but I didn't use it, but it's fine. Colored envelopes are fun. Um, tying things up with string. So uh, Cindy created little bundles of, I think, five. And every time I got to the end, I would keep the string and then use it as a tag topper or something. And then this. Oh, I guess I could put on some lipstick and powder my... Lipstick and powder and get my hair combed. I love this one. This one is so fun. And then this is just something super simple, but it probably took me an hour. And then the background of that. That one is nice. I like that one. Um, I made pockets. Um, I made complex pockets. With windows. And um, peekaboo backing. Okay, and then that is day 15. And now, do this and we're on to the second part most a lot of these papers come from um, the graphics fairy which are free oh yes so this one has a magnet which I think is fun so magnet is something else that I'd never used Wee, 
magnet closures. The road had no signs. Oh, yes. Okay. And this was just me just kind of going bananas. Oops, there we are. Nope, I wanted to do that. And then the card here. And I didn't trim the edges. So not every edge needs to be trimmed. Is that the way that goes? Must be. Okay. What are we doing here? There. There. That goes there. There's your problem. Uh, so yes, so not every edge needs to be trimmed. Okay, and I might have to go to page two. Mm, I love that envelope. Look at that. That is just like a tag. This is whale tail, but it is on a plastic bag. Whoops. Come on. You can do it. There we are. There's another one here. There. Oh. And that comes out. So I used the packaging. Sometimes uh, the ephemera packaging as part of the make. Um, so put that back in here. Um, and I'm going to say whale tail of plastic. And I remember not knowing whether or not the whale tail would punch through this. And of course it does. And we are down to the bottom here. So we'll be able to flip over and do some more. Oh, I remember this one too. Mmm. Message in the form of a code. This is, yeah, this is flippy flips. And paper papers. It's a tag. That goes there. Um, what is it that I did? Uh, I think I paid attention to themes. That's what I'm going to say that I did. Um, I can't find my normal book, which is very sad. So we have to use this one sheet and keep it good. No such time as I find the other one. Um, doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo. So, oh, this is lessons and this is ephemera. Um, pay attention and build on theme and or color. I got good at the end when I would be presented with whatever to look at. That's the other thing I got good at and that is looking at the materials. I think all three of us did this and developed, uh, we got more robust and that is we would open it and we would go, huh, okay, well, it is a, mm, a, a yellow pitcher of a dove and over here we have um, you know, oh, this feels like it's a piece of material that comes from 
uh, you know, a lacy dress and, you know, the envelope has, uh, you know, printing on it that looks like it's from another language. Oh, here is a map. And we paid very close attention to, it's kind of like we were museum curators. I don't know if you ever watched museum curators look at an object. Like they will get something randomly like, oh, okay, well, it's this size, it's these colors, it is this stack, it is this weight, um, you know, these materials are this, it is also what it's not. Um, so, you know, it's not metallic, it's not been used, um, all of those kinds of things. We ended up doing that every single time we opened all the stuff and we would look at it. And I think the um, exercise of looking at the material changed the way I look at things, if that makes any sense at all. And that I think is a really valuable artistic skill. I'm not particularly good at it, but I am way better than what I was. Um, oh, I like this one, yes. So this was, um, uh, this is like VCR tape. I love this tag. I really, really love this tag because I don't have just one. So oh, consider doing multiples. And that is uh, tags, holes, flips, flaps, and I am, oh, I return to this and go, mm, sad pants. Uh, there's not enough contrast between that and the back, but oh well, I don't care. Because I have a blue jay with the most amazing top. That one's nice and thin. So that's a tag in a pocket. Okay, uh, uh, collage, and that is Mary up, uh, distinct. Different things into a new hole. And so that's what this is. So I use the top of this somewhere else. And then I am just using that. So I'm basically collaging a, uh, a Suffolk puff on top of a head and it's creating an abstract image. Dive, ducked, wriggled and sidestepped. Oh, yes. Mm. Oh, yes. And I remember these pockets. I like these pockets a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. So it, I'm going to call those tea pockets from now on. I like them because you can... There's probably a lot of stuff that you can do with contrasting this with having peekaboos on the other side. And this is a fold and what's in here. Oh, okay. That's a lot of trolling space. That way or that way? I don't know. It's probably this way. And the reason why I say that is because those <clears throat> edges are rounded. Come on. Here we are. There's that one. This one made me laugh so much. And then this was abstract. This was just a piece of paper. And then I put eyes on it. Uh, with the use of a Google Eye, uh, this 
they change the mood. So I use them there in Boarding House Reach. Uh, so think of this with nothing. This is a horrifying looking creature uh, without eyes, but you put eyes on it and it looks much better. And then you decorate it with some very pretty gold. And it looks like it's a very inviting, happy, gentle, beautiful clown that started off an absolute horror. So this one is a good one. Here we are. Uh, next, oh yes, this one. What did I do here? That was a good color match. Oh yeah, I used an uptuck. I never use uptucks. One of the other really good ephemera things that I heard Cindy say somewhere at some point was, um, I have never seen you use X. And then I gave you X. And that I think was partly the reason why um, she sent out this, because this is, it's three-dimensional, it is hard plastic, you gotta do something with it, and how do you solve that problem? And I am super happy that I had this opportunity to get something like that, because part of this is to expand and to grow and to change, and, I'm glad I had the one. Don't be giving me like 30 of them come November. But having something that is, I have never handled this material. I have never touched it. I have never had to solve this kind of problem before. That I think was a valuable um, curation thought. And then there's those. Um... Oh yeah, that one goes up there. I just couldn't create a pocket for it, so that's why it's like that. Um, the funny little mouse. What's in here? Oh yes, okay. So there are the autumn shadows settled. There's the funny little mouse. Sorry. Oh yeah, and the kid. Kind of dour, but you know, it'll be fine. Oh, so, um, stamp circles and glue stuff shut, use masking tape, to close, sew to close, washi tape to close. <clears throat> and envelopes. And bags. So this is the closure stuff. So Cindy used, she used a, a, a a hole punch and went bink, 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 and had these kind of dots. And then that was how she labeled the, who it was for and the number of the day. Cindy used masking tape to close her packages. She sewed some of them closed. I used some washi tape. A lot, we, I think all used envelopes at one point and we might have all used bags one of us used bags cindy for sure used bags so even just the packaging of the bag useful okay and now we're in the middle oh, oh that was a bird that just banged into the window a uh, puzzle i've never worked with a puzzle 
And so this has got me down the rabbit hole of puzzle pieces. So I went to the dollar store and promptly bought a, an inexpensive but large puzzle. Uh, what's in here? So these also, I didn't trim. I just left them raw. And the raw edge is fine. I might have cleaned that one up or it came that way. Oh yes, this is a tricky one. Ah, okay, so this is the first time. Woo, like how many, day 22 maybe? This is, um, what is it? It's this. Distress Oxide. So Cindy, regu on the regular, will change the colors of things. Like, no, no, I want a blue. Oh, no, I want a brown. I want it this. I want it that. And she has a wide variety of uh, color mediums to be able to do that. And so I kind of copied her because it started off pure white. And I wanted it to sort of match this peach. And so I have this color and I have that color. And so... Zh and I changed the color of it. And it's, that's like, it doesn't look like much, but it's the wild success that I changed the color of something. I also tried, Cindy has this way of inking. Oh dear. Hang on. Let's get us settled out here. And it's, I, I don't think it is, uh, um, I think a lot of artists do this. They will cover paper with the oxide and then spray it with coffee, let the water do something with the oxide, and then that was the cat. Sorry about that. Um, and then you get these kind of blotchy things. So I've been trying to do that. I haven't used enough ink. I've used ink that's the too light. I have used coffee that isn't coffee enough. And so we are working our way towards being able to do that. So at some point in the near future, I will run out of ways to do it wrong and I will finally figure out a way to do it right. So this is a baggie. Uh, this is way too big. And this is the only way that I could think of to be able to put that in as a pocket so a baggie can be a pocket and also clear plastic is useful for windows and so what is this Oh, yes. Okay, this is my, my photo album. So this is another envelope. These frames I got from also somebody else on the internet. Um, the frame is open on two sides. So you can pop your photograph in like that. So these are... Um, frame pockets that are using the plastic. And then another one, same deal. Another one, same deal. And then, oh, this is just a, a flippy up and down. And this is a tuck, and I don't think there's anything in there, but you could put something there if you wanted to. This was really successful in my mind. I like this one a lot. And the baggie is a... I could have done wrapping and all that kind of nonsense with that, but it's like, nope. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, we need to have 
this back on the top. Um, what about this one? Four cups of cocoa and a big plate of homemade cookies. And this was booklet and a couple of tags in the back. And that was a tag. glued at the top to be the tab. Uh, this got an envelope, okay. This one is an envelope. This is another one that is the colorway of yellow. And that's what I went looking for. Uh, I just glued this and I could have peeled it apart and just cut it and trimmed it, you don't need to, because you, you don't have to do that all the time. Uh, oh yes, I used a pocket. As a tab. I like that one. That one turned out really nice. It's very textured. There we are. And this should fit in here. Oh, oh. One of the things Cindy mentioned in her wrap up was the idea of how many times uh, serendipity took over so um at no time did we ever consult each other on what we were putting away how much what it looked like colors or anything it was completely silent to all three of us and there were days where you open one and you open the other and they were so perfectly in harmony either through theme through what how the stuff could work together um the colors whatever and so i think that is a lesson for how much closer we all are to matching things even if we look at our stuff and go oh i i need a kit i need uh you know a tightly curated something or other mm, you might not you might not oh oh yes so this, so throughout uh, the month of April, I've had morning allergies and I've been sneezing and uh, snorfing and blorfing and doing all the things. And I feel this speaks to me as a metaphor. Um, okay. And then the letter inside, and then this is just a whole pullout. This is a tip in. I also figured out what a tip in was. That's pretty exciting. And then this is tickets. There we are, and a little tab, only on the one side. Oops. And there's that. Are you eyeballs gonna go in? Are you eyeballs gonna go in? If you are good job and then this is day 30 this is day 30 and then this is just bits oh, that glued and this is something too Boop, right in there. 
But so that for sure is day 30 because I can see the 30 all over the pages. Here we are. And then that, we're back to the front again. Oh, that only took us an hour. That's about how long it took me to do all of these as I did them. So I need to get this back on, otherwise it is not a stable thing. It tips and falls and does all the things. So I would say that my experience with this has been um, here. See, nice and stable. Uh, my experience with this has been, uh, it's like April 2024, junk journal, journal, round, Robin. Uh, this has been a master class in journaling for me. I have clearly grown. I have tried things. I have used muscles. I have experimented. I have been exposed to new materials. All of the things that you want out of a class. Um, I have been exposed to, uh, there's at least two, there's at least once that I know of that I laughed myself silly, so that's good. There have been other times where I have just been in such good humor, either at what has been sent to me, what I have done, um, the effects of googly eyes, like all of the things. So I have gotten joy out of this. Um, I have always, I mean, one of the reasons why I think the three of us did this was we wanted to play with each other. Like, like, hey, do you come out to play? And so we can, you know, we can all do something fun together. This is a fabulous way of being able to um, build friendships or continue to build, deepen friendships and build community. It has been absolutely wonderful sharing all of these with you. I hope you have enjoyed them. I hope you've discovered Cindy at Studio Lou and Shell at Shell's Creative Chaos. Um, we are gonna do, we had so much fun. Like I am so sad that this is over. Uh, Shell and um, Cindy have said the same thing. So we are gonna do this again in November and totally, totally, totally support you and two of your friends to do a round robin of your own. You will not be sorry. You can look at um, the set of 90 videos. If you're in for a, in for a binge, uh, use the hashtag uh, Junk Journal Round Robin here on YouTube. JJ Round Robin, what do we call it? JJ Round Robin. And we have 90 videos, nine zero videos. So that should keep you um, busy for a while. Cindy and uh, Shell's videos are about on half hour long and mine range probably towards 45 minutes in an hour because I don't have the ability to um, pause and edit and do all the things. So I just roll the tape and we get what we get. Um, what else do I want to say? Yes, yeah, so November, um, think about it now. You understand the concept? Would love to have you along. You don't have to do the whole month. You never have to do the whole month. You can do two weeks. You can do a week. You can do a weekend. You can do a long weekend. Um, you can do every Tuesday. Whatever floats your boats, whatever your, um, your two swap partners are willing to do. And because it is not connected to theme, because you get the freedom of everything else in your studio, you are surrounded by safety. You are always surrounded by do what you want. Um, and know that this is 
like I say, I would not have been able to get this amount of journaling experience and education had I not done this. And so that is one of the great things about this. And the most important thing is I have been able to deepen uh, two really important relationships in my life, one with Shell and one with Cindy at Studio Lou. I love you both uh, to bits. So that is Junk Journal Around Robin um, and the wrap up. I feel like we need to do some ads now. So uh, we've done November, so look forward to November. I'm probably gonna make a journal with the leftover bits from this and also Shell provided a, oh, that's another thing that she did. Um, provided a an, an emergency packet of paper um, and I think each one of us have hoarded something so we have said I am not going to use that today because it is too perfect for something else or we just love it too much I can't cut into it and I think we've done it once and so once out of 30 days I think is pretty fair because we probably dealt with a lot of ephemera um so that's that Cindy is now for the month of May doing something called the junk journal mayhem so I'm just put that out there you can uh check her out at um Studio Lou to see what she is going to do I'm going to try doing this using these as um, mark making items, either gel plating or whatever. And I'll probably do them in bulks of like, I'll do five at a time or, or whatever, because gel plating requires some um, prep and so forth. So that is all for now. Thank you so much for joining. I really hope you enjoyed this um month-long challenge i hope you enjoyed the final flip through and um keep it in mind for november uh find your 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 little cohorts now um and then start planning and uh uh collecting your stuff anyways that is all for now take very good care of yourself today stay out of trouble love you lots and we'll see you soon bye now